Good day. My name is Stephen Davids. I am the CEO of a training company, professional generalist, and a systems designer. In today's video, I will address how to insert data from a Google spreadsheet into a Google Doc. I must stress at the very start that the insights I use do not come from myself, but that I found it on the web and the Google's help forum from Samantha, post by Samantha. In the post in the Google Docs help forum, Samantha answers a question uh, relating to uh, the data input from Google Sheets into Google Docs and she gives a very good answer. Having said this, it is basically not something unique she's doing, but she explains a basic function of Google very simple. The drawbacks associated with this method of inserting tables from Google Sheet into Google Docs is that it is more suitable to insert numbers and not necessarily text. The tables that insert it looks like a graphic and uh, you can't really just insert the content of one cell uh, which I always look for but then well life is not perfect you have to adapt. Now quickly to the method. The first step is that you go to your Google spreadsheet and then select the data that you want. You go then to the insert chart option and then from the options you choose the last option available. Chart types, chart types, the last option available is the tables. Click on it and then you have your table. Press insert and there you have your table. You then go to your Google Doc that you want the table to be inserted into. And then simply choose insert chart from sheets and then choose the sheet that you add there, click on it and then you will get the various charts, the tables. Uh, but just by the way I want to show you the reason why it doesn't work necessarily this procedure for ticks. Can you see there the ticks we have a nice piece maybe a paragraph or something the text is cut off. It works much better for uh, the tables with numbers. Remember to click on the link to the spreadsheet, click on the table you want and then press import. Import it. Uh, you will see there it looks like you can then uh, arrange it, it looks like a graphic where it is distorted, slightly distorted but as I said life is not uh, perfect, you must do what you must deal with what you get. A uh, nice feature of this is that you can wrap text and maybe uh, then just type something there next to it, uh, uh, your personal 
because that is what I intended to do your personal uh, marks uh, and then uh, put it in carrot uh, and if we use a program uh, like uh, and for every assessment number two number three etc and then what we intend to do is uh, that uh, uh, with the mail merge program of autocrack it will then fill uh, those spaces in I see now it appears like all these columns are not necessarily uh, copied uh, the reason why it does not seem to have all of the columns in is because in the original spreadsheet you will see it as the navigation bar and this navigation bar is not necessarily accessible in the Google Doc so in order to overcome this what uh, you then do is uh, if you can see there the column text is in the original Google Doc Google spreadsheet for the apologies it is uh, wrapped in the cell while it is not at the top at the title is not wrapped in uh, the chart so what you then do is you try to minimize the uh, um, text in the column headings and then you will see immediately the column uh, becomes narrower in addition you sometimes just have to live with uh, reality and then you can perhaps and uh, what I do is uh, delete a column that may not be that necessary and then you see all the data are in uh, this uh, table that is produced and it will then be the same in the uh, Google Doc just open the Google Doc and give it time to open and then you will see uh, that uh, uh, the table in the Google Doc looks uh, much better it opens and uh, the internet is a little bit slow uh, there you can see it appears much better and all the uh, columns you want and the data you want is in this uh, uh, table and it was updated automatically when you uh, uh, opened it again thank you very much for watching this video we love constructive criticism please uh, like this video and share it thank you very much